Hey everyone, this is Abhinand from CG Artist Academy and today I'm back with a new tutorial. Now it's the second tutorial in Houdini and today I'm going to show you how to create rigid body simulations with a very basic setup and with that setup you can easily achieve most of the rigid body simulations of yours. So it's Houdini and it's really fast and actually completely procedural. So let's get started. So here's my Houdini and first of all I need to create a geometry so tab type geo and here's my first node geo this would be my falling cubes so let me rename it cubes copy control C to copy and control V to paste and this would be my collusion geometry okay so let's import file I already exported my geometry so let's go to my scene okay So I am gonna select the final cube export model. Let's select that. Let's import it. Now go to the collision geometry again. Create a file node. Yep. Just copy it, paste because I have two collision geometry, and select my first collision geometry, which is cone. And now I'm gonna select my second geometry which is Cha. Okay. Now I want both of the geometry should be collusion, collision geometry. So to do that, I'm gonna create a merge node which is here and plug it here, plug this one here and uh, let's see now both of the geometries are visible and connected okay so what i need is now i need to transform this cone okay a bit top upper side so let's create a transform node And uh, maybe around yeah somehow here yep so next thing I want to do is I need to subdivide this cone so let's create subdivide and plug it here and yeah that's it for that and next I'm gonna do is I I am gonna create a null rename it to collision collision out okay and yeah we are done with the collision geometry and for this okay Let's create a null over here and rename it to falling cubes okay so here in cubes uh, let me see I need a subdivision over here also so let's create a subdiv subdivide node here subdivide yes so it's subdivided okay now here I'm gonna create a 
a DOP network. DOP. Okay. Let's jump into here. And first of all, we need a rigid positive object. So RBT packed object. Okay. So it's here. Now next we need is rigid body solver. Cool. So go to your rigid packed object and select a path and falling cubes. Select your null. Accept it. Now this is the rigid body object which gonna fall. Now collect, connect this here and let's see what we get. Nothing. We need to add a gravitational force. Let's add that. Gravity and select it and select to the output here. Let's play again. It's simulating, but nothing's happening. On it's giving us an error, which we can see. Like tap here with your mouse, and we can see the uh, the error. And it's saying bullet packed object geometry does not contains any primitive type supported by the solver. Okay, so we must do something which is missing. Okay. So when we see here, it needed a packed, packed object. Okay, so go to your falling cubes, which are your object which which gonna fall, and we gonna add here is a symbol. Okay, and connect it here. So what it does is, uh, first of all, if I go here and select on this icon node info. So we can see we have 16,128 points, primitive values, vertices and polygons. Okay. So, and when I subdivide, it actually uh, increasing. Okay. Because I'm, I'm subdividing the geometry. So now it's have more points, more vertices and more polygons. Okay. But when I use this assemble node, okay. It's nothing going here because uh, I just applied and I didn't use any uh, its uh, options, enable its options. Okay, so it's giving me the same info information. Okay, so what I need is I need to create a create pack geometry. Okay, now I'm gonna see the node info. Now you can see it's giving 288 points, which is the number of my cubes. Okay. I have total 288 cubes so now it's gonna be calculating one cube as a point so we have 288 points and that's how Houdini uh, simulate things faster it's kinda creating a instancing on the points okay so it's done here and let's see now it's falling or not yes it's quite it's falling uh, when it's falling I am seeing the ghosting of the cube so let me switch off here and here edit on okay so now again cool but the thing is now it's not colliding with the geometry so what we need is we need to create a static object Okay, and one more thing we need is merge. Connect here, connect here, and disconnect here. And if you select all these and press L, it get layered. Okay, so go here. Now we have to select a soft geometry. So we have a collision geometry. This is this, and accept this now. We simulate again and yeah 
disseminating okay but rigid body uh, solver is not calculating according to the shape of collision geometry so we need to fix that let's do that so select your static object and scroll down collision go to your bullet data and show geometry show guide geometry so you can see that it's a convex hull and and it's it's uh, not a hole in here okay so it's colliding with the guided geometry which is convex hull you can see that okay so what we need is for this one we need to have a concave option okay so that's how you can see in wireframe it's actually representing the actual geometry I have created for the collision so you can see in the blue okay so it's done here let's switch off that and we will simulate again and yes it's colliding as you can see that yeah so definitely it's working so it's very basic steps like uh, easily you can do any rigid body simulation with that okay so a few more things I need to do is in the collision I need to change the friction value so go to the physical option and here it's friction let's make it 0.5 and again we see how it's going so what it does is now not many of the cubes are getting outside so because there is no friction value they are coming very fast okay so let's make it 0 0.3 you can uh, try your values definitely yeah so it's coming directly to the bottom so you can see it's colliding but there is not much friction value okay so that's it for the rigid bodies okay one more thing left is what if I want to break these cubes okay so let's do that very quickly go to your falling cubes so where we to, here we need to add two nodes okay first one is scatter scatter let's connect it and We'll see here. Okay, so here is my cube. Now I am gonna see my scatters, scatter points. Cool, it's there. For this, I am gonna use around 300 points. Okay, it's just for the test and let's drop down here and again we need to add one more node which is Voroni fracture let's connect it and connect this one to this let it calculate So it's calculator and you can see that it, it al already had that fracture thing which you can see through the lines okay it's uh, up to you how many 
stacks you want you increase this like around 500 if I put so I have now more fracture fractured geometry okay so it's done here and I guess that's it let's go to our DOP okay guys actually I did a mistakes okay here I need to put a subdivision node here instead of after Voroni, uh, Voroni fracture okay let me do that very fast because just because I have subdivided after the fracture it's subdividing the fractured geometry okay so I need to fix that so it's done so like you can see after the my file node I have created a subdivision node after that I use the scatter point from the subdivided geometry and then I added the Voroni fracture and then the rest of it okay so it's done almost and let's zoom out a bit and let's see how our simulation how my simulation is going to be so my simulation is done and you can see the cubes are getting into pieces as soon as they are colliding with the geometry so you can see here see you can see the cracks and they are definitely getting that so that's it with this simple setup you can create complex rigid body simulations also and it's all about your experimentation so hope you guys this hope you guys um, like this tutorial and uh, if you like it please subscribe my channel and this is very hard time for everyone in the world for artists for every profession so we have to stand together and support each other and to fight all these covid 19 situations so stay safe stay home and stay creative thank you so much